Hey everyone, Metal Dragon here. Just wanted to go ahead and show you how to unclog the E3D version 6 hot end if it binds. Basically, if you retract your old filament and some gets stuck in there, and you gotta put new filament in and it just binds up and won't go through, you have to disassemble it to get the uh, troublesome piece out. Um, I already did that. I took it apart and pulled the piece out, but I just wanted to show you. Um, this is the heat break. There is still some in here, um, filament, but there was a, a plug of it in this end, the other end. Now this is the cold end, the top end, um, and I can you can check it with filament because the filament fits through that hole. You want to make sure it gets past, basically, that goes into the the, the hot end, because once it's in there, it's not going to matter because it's going to melt. So that's not a problem. Um, so yeah, you just want to make sure you get it past that break right there. So once it's there. You're good. So like I said, I pulled it out of there. I disassembled it. Um, here is the uh, the hot end with the uh, nozzle, 0.4 millimeters, I believe. Um, I found that the nozzle was actually sticking to the the heat break. So I, I just, I mean, I just had to use finger force and hold it. So because you obviously don't want to apply much force on that. Um, and it came loose and so I pulled it out. Um, when you reassemble it, one thing that I would suggest, which I've done here, ow, is uh, I pulled up the PTFE tube, which you just, you can go in there to the back side with something. I have a, a pick here that I use to uh, poke it or push it and you just have to hold the little black thing in and it'll come out. Um, and that's just because the heat break it has to go past the heat break, so that way you get the heat break fully seated and uh, you can get back in business. Um, I guess that's about it. If you have any questions, just uh, leave a comment. Thanks.